हेलो रिवान दिस इज अनमोल गेरा एंड दिस इज द डिस्कशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ए एंड बी दिस प्रॉब्लम आर वेरी इजी सो आई थॉट नॉट लेट्स डिस्कस इट साइमल्टेनियसली ओके लेट्स गो टू सिंपली लेट्स सिंपली गो टू प्रॉब्लम ए इट्स फाइन इफ यू इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू इट इट्स चलता है मतलब और क्या बोलूँ आप कर लेंगे अगर आप प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो ओके सो द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट यू नो फॉर द न्यू ईयर Polly Carp decided to send postcards to his end friends. He wants to make postcards with his own hands. For this purpose, he has a sheet of paper of size W cross H, which can be cut into pieces. Polly Carp can cut any sheet of paper W into H that he has in two cases. If W is even, then simply W by two into H, and if H is even, then simply W into H by two. So we just have to basically tell you know in how many sheets are. Uh, so we are basically given four inputs w h n n is basically the n is basically a, a simple input we have to tell you know if we can cut w into h in more than or equal to n pieces or not so it's very uh, like straight forward that you know if we cut a sheet into a piece so it will it will basically become two pieces right if you have a sheet and if we we'll divide it to so it you know it become two then if we we'll divide both of them then, then it will become four so um let's suppose so let's suppose you know we have a square uh if we cut like this way so if if initially it was one then then it was this basically has become two right so and you know if we we'll cut this way after like you no know, let's so this this has become basically two sheets separately now we can only cut this into more if there is any side in it which you know which is divisible by 2 if there is no side which is divisible by 2 we can we cannot cut it that way right because uh, it won't be a uh, it won't satisfy this condition now so we just have to calculate uh the maximum number of twos the area have like the what is the matrix what is the maximum number of twos this w cross h have if we can calculate that i know simply can calculate the number of sheets it will uh break down into if that is greater than equal to n then we just have to see out yes or see out no is as simple as that so let's just see the code i think uh it's clear but let me okay so I have taken input three things and x in ants. While x percentage two, x percentage two is not equal to one. मतलब basically, you know, when our area has still a factor of two, when it will not have any factor of two, then will basically end this. Will basically terminate this loop. So that time simply x divided by x by two and ants multiply equal to two. So why I'm multiplying this? That I just wanted to show. So okay, like let's suppose if we Draw a line here. It has divided into, into two. Like you know. Uh, now let's suppose you know. Uh, if this is two, then since it has divided into half, this will also be two. So like you know, if we we'll basically divide this again, let's suppose divide this. So we can also divide this now. Are you are you getting the logic? Because like if any side is even, then the opposite side would would also be even. So you know we'll basically get two more. Similarly, like you know, let's suppose if we have this, ah, uh, let's suppose you know if we have a ah uh, problem. This let's suppose this is sixteen cross sixteen. Now, so we can basically divide it into like this. So it it has become 16 cross 8. Then we can divide into this. Then it will become 8 cross 8. Then then we can basically so you know you can clearly see first ah uh, the pieces was two. Then if we we'll divide it by this, it will become four. Then you know if if we we'll divide it by this and this, it will become eight. And like if we we'll divide it, if we we'll divide it, divide this by this, ah uh, so it has become 16. so it's multiplying by 2 right so that's the logic if we are multiplying it by r uh, 
the base so we are just calculating the basic limit maximum number of uh sheets we can make and if that is greater than equal to and then see out so or see out no i think this is very very straightforward yeah you can check the code i've put the links to all of this in the description okay so i think okay so yeah it's working cool so let's just go to problem b it's called fair division so this is like a very standard problem we have n candles and you know each candle weighs either one grams or two grams now they want to divide all the candles among themselves fairly so that the total weight of allies candles is equal, equal is equal to total weight of bob's candles but basically you know we have given the candles of one grams and two grams we have to distribute the candles in such a way that the weight you no know, we just basically have to distribute in such a way that we can you know we can distribute in two equal parts so okay that is the question i think the question is very very straightforward now what we can do is ki uh okay so what we can do is ki let's suppose we have odd number of twos okay first of all the first observation is that you know if the sum of if sum is odd then simply no then it's not possible because you know you cannot divide odd number into two even parts uh in two integer even parts right so that is simply no let's suppose the sum is even so we will have two cases one when two is even when this is the case since the sum is even so the ones will also be even now so let's suppose it's two or four it doesn't matter if two is even we can always divide because you know we can just uh divide these twos half in half and half and in these ones in half and half since the sum is even so that's why the ones are also even right now when this number of twos are odd then it would be interesting when the number of twos are odd then it basically Two, 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 two. Then it's interesting. Now the problem is becoming interesting. Now the sum when the sum of twos are odd. Let's suppose you know we have. Uh, so let's just take this three twos and four ones. One, 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 one. Now when the sum of twos is odd and the number of ones are even because the sum is even. for some odd it's already no then we can always divide if we have at least two ones right it would not be possible if we we'll have three if we we'll have zero ones in case of one the count of one greater than equal to zero matlab greater than zero not equal to in case of like if the count of ones are 2 4 6 8 like this we can always divide why that's why because let's suppose the number of twos are odd so if we divide the number of twos so the one side will get a two extra right so to uh, compensate to compensate that we need two ones we need a uh, two ones if we have at least two ones we can always compensate that and if we have more than two ones so we can use these two ones and the rest we can distribute equally right i think i'm clear so the logic is that you know if the sum is odd then no if the sum is even then we have to check if the count of twos is odd and the count of ones is equal to zero then it's no unless it will always be yes so let's just see the code uh the code is simple uh we have taken a number then an array then simply count what are the number of ones and what are the number of twos just simply have calculated the sum of the whole array matlab calculated the sum of the whole array if the sum is odd then simply no or if the count 2 percent is 2 equal to 1 matlab basically the sum the count of twos is 1 and the count of ones is 0 then it's no unless it says so yeah this this man just zoom it a bit unless it says so this is the code you can just check i put the link in the description so thank you very much i'll be discussing problem d any shortly okay so ah uh, bye